What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. And you know what? I'm doing something a little different. I know I haven't been uploading videos for a year, actually months, months. But, but I'm back at it again and I'm going to do something different. I had a comment the other day saying that I'm just basically reading the same old book over and over again and not actually implementing the algorithms. So you know what? I will actually implement the algorithms. From now on, I am going to do that. What better way to do that is actually to do some algorithm problems. So, uh, here I have I already done the first 30 easy problems in Lead Code. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to do them with you and do all the easy and then maybe you do all the hard. Uh, not hard. The, I'll do all the easy, do all the medium, and then do all the hard. And then once we do that, we could, you should be pretty decent at algorithms if you could solve at least a thousand, a thousand, one hundred thirty-six problems on lead code. You should be able to do very well in algorithms and in, in most of your, in most of your algorithm interviews, at least. If the interview asks you an algorithm question, you should be able to do it. But yeah. So today what we're going to do is, uh, what I did done so far is I clicked on problems on lead code. So create an account on lead code. Uh, it's a free you can use it's free yeah it's free you could use your gmail account you can use your facebook account whatever it is create a, an account on lead code and click on problems what i did and then you click on algorithms okay now generally uh what i would do is i would then i would then click on difficulty so i sort it by difficulty and then i start doing these so that's one thing you could do so today, what we're going to do is we're going to do the first question called defanging an IP address. I already done this, so I'm hopefully you guys don't see the solution. Okay, don't do this. Okay. Given a valid IV, IPv4 address, return a defanged version of that IP address. So a defanged IP address replaces every period dot with a bracket dot bracket, other bracket. So let's see the example. Okay, an address is 1.1.1.1, and then the output is 1 bracket dot, right bracket, 1 left bracket dot, right bracket. So it replaced all these dots with a actual bracket, the actual brackets, and the dot. Yeah, so that's what it did. Um, you, could do, you could do this question in whatever language you want. They have uh, Java, Python, Python 3, C Sharp, JavaScript, Ruby. I'll be doing it in C++. Just because this channel is C++, right? I mean, might as well do it. Okay, so we want to replace every dot with a bracket dot bracket. First thing to do, we're given the string, right? First, I'm going to create a string called to return. This string is just an empty string. What am I, go what am I going to do? Well, I have to go through the whole, whole string, right? And every time I see a dot, I want to replace it with a bracket dot bracket. So what way to do that is with a for loop. So I'm going to go through for loop in i equals zero, i less than address dot size, i plus plus. This is going to go through the whole string one by one, every single character in the string, until I reach the end of the string, the size of the string. I'm going to keep going until I reach the end of the size of the string. Basic for loop. What am I going to do? I'm going to check if the character at the current address, uh, current index at i. So what I'm going to go through this whole string. If the character at the current index at i, at i, so um, whatever character this is, so it's going to start with one, and it goes to this, and it goes to that, goes to that, 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 that. That's what this for loop is going to do. If the address at i is, if the current index at i is equal to a dot. What are we going to do? If equals a dot, we got to replace it, right? So to return plus equal, place it with brackets dot. Otherwise, otherwise, just continue the, just add whatever character it was at that location. Then after this world, we're going to do return to return. Let's run the code to see if it passes their results. Oops, it doesn't. Oh, I forgot. Equal, equal. You got to remember that. Okay, another compiler error. Oh, oh, okay. Whoops, my fault. 
characters have to be single quotes. Single quotes. Characters are single quotes. That's how it works. Run code. Let's see. Let's see what happens. All right. The output is exactly like they expected. Then we click submit. This is my previous. I already saw how to submit it. And would you look at that? Accepted. You're faster than 54% of C++, but the memory usage is less than 100% of C++ online solutions. So that's, this is my solution. It is faster than 54%. But let's see other, now, now that we have this running so far, let's see other people's solutions. Okay. Let's see this guy's solution. Okay, so what he's doing is, whoa, this is really, really something. Okay, um, so he's doing the same thing. He is creating a new string with the seven spaces, this char pointer points to new string with seven more spaces than the size of the, the original string. And he's gonna loop through the previous string, uh, I mean the current string, the current string of address. He's gonna loop through that and he checks if this is a dot. Then he, he basically, sets whatever it uh the he sets whatever to the, his new string temp string to be whatever the left brace then he increments the index of what it is at and he does he sets the character whatever dot character and if we know it's a dot right so he sets this after, after that then if it is equal to dot he sets the right part so this sets the right part of the the string. So because we have left bracket dot right bracket, we're replacing every dot with the left bracket, every dot with le left bracket dot right bracket. That's what he's doing here. And then after that, he ha has a null pointer, uh, null character at the end because he. Uh, I don't know why he's doing this with C, but this is C. And yeah, then that's he returns that. But let's see another person's solution. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, huh, let's see. Ah, that's funny. Let's see. Yeah, you got it. Ba -dum -ba. Um, I haven't seen any C++ solutions. Oh, you could use, okay, so this is a good one. You could use replace. So what he's doing is he's going to use the dot find function, which finds the position of where there's a dot in his string of address. Once he gets that position, he's going to loop loop through it, right? So this checks if the position is not the end, end position, end position. Yeah, so this is this end position. While he does that, he's going to replace every character at the position with this string. And then he's going to basically find it again. He's going to find the position again. And he's going to move whatever position he's at plus three. So what this solution is doing is, let's see if I could get paint up running. This solution, it's funny how we could get to see like multiple people's solutions, but this is what he's doing. So let's say my string was 1.1.1.1. One dot one dot one dot one. This is my string. This is what he's going to do. He's going to first find the use this these the find function which is going to get him this position of the dot. Once he gets this position, he's going to replace this with dot with um bracket dot bracket. So this is going to replace that. So now afterwards, let's see uh, I could just I'm going to erase this. So now afterwards after replaces that now I'm gonna move this to the left. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just retype, uh, re redo it this way. So after I replace that, it's like this, right? But now the position's still here. So now what he's gonna do? He's gonna increment the position by three. So what does that do? That moves the pointer of where this location is at to here. Okay, so then now this is going to continue on searching through the next dot. 
and then he does the same thing over and over again. So that's the solution. I think the solution is actually much, much better actually. You're using replace because you're actually using C++ functions. Unlike what I'm doing, I'm returning a new string. Um, let's see, is there any other? But yeah, that, that's basically defanging an IP address. Uh, I hope you guys, I hope you guys actually try it out yourself before looking through my video solution. That was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry if my my microphone is not doing that well. It's because uh, I, I my old microphone broke, and that's why I need to get a new microphone. So here, yeah, yeah, that's my solution. Free, comment, subscribe. Thanks for the 1,000 subscribers, by the way. I'll check you guys later. Peace.